Good evening and welcome to the office of Compline. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. We pause for a moment as we consider the day that was. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We listen now to the hymn for Compline before the ending of the day. Psalm 104. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time of its setting. You mark darkness, that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions walk for their prey and make their food from God. Sun rises and they are gone and lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labor until the evening. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, whom you have made to play in the deep. All these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand and they are filled with good. 
When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Creator God, you send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world, that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of lamp or the light of the sun. For the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. In our prayers this evening, we pray for those who are sick. Amongst them, we pray for Mtunzi Malunga, Ida Barton, Joan Coulson, Ivan Hannibal, Carmen Clink, Sandra McGregor, Owen Jinke, Evan Clink, Zimkulu Bonani, Walter Leaning, and John Thompson. We continue to pray for those who are infected with the coronavirus. We pray for those who are anxious as they await test results. We pray for the leaders of the nations. And we give thanks to God for doctors, nurses, and all medical personnel. We pray for the safety and protection of all essential workers. We are mindful of the many who will return to work as we move from lockdown level five to level four. We are mindful also of the poor and all who are hungry. And we pray that God may provide for them even during this time. As we are mindful also of those who are lonely praying that they may be provided with companionship. We remember also those who have died, as we pray for the repose of the souls of Dennis Goldberg, Martha Mayer, Susanna Adonis, and Fred Favard. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. 
May we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. So may the Lord bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as it renews the whole of creation, so may our hearts and our lives echo his love. Amen. We conclude our service this evening with a hymn for the healing of the nations. <laughs> 